made some changes to the CNC booth enclosure. When I first built this a few years ago, it was for a larger home-built CNC machine. That machine has been moved to a different spot, and now I'm using this 3040. So since I've got the extra space here, I converted part of it to where my dust collection system was. This originally was on a cart so I could move it around, but it seemed to make sense to put it in here. So this is still the basic setup with the home-built collector, the shop vac, and some PVC. But we run a line over to the CNC machine, and we're going to build a dust shoe. So for the dust collection system, so I can vacuum other areas in the shop, we've kept this really simple. Just put a T in here. Part of it goes over to the hose for the CNC and the other part just tees off and goes down to this coupler here. And if I want to vacuum up other areas, this comes out, nothing's been glued, and the black vacuum hose just goes right into that coupler. For this dust shoe, it's going to be really simple. I built this holder for the router um, a while ago. We're going to make another one, and it's going to come out like this. Our vacuum hose will sit in the front, and then we'll use some plastic around the base. This was drawn up in Inkscape, very simple. Here's just the base for the router. The router will sit here, and the vacuum hose will slide into there. We'll cut a couple rings out that'll hold that tighter and glue those up. Here's our cut in JS Cut. We're going to use a piece of birch ply. And here are our tabs and our cutout. This could have been done on the CNC, but for our sides, it was just faster to use the miter saw. So we've got our 45s here. And then we'll cut a back piece. That's the way that will sit. For the lower part of the dust shoe that will attach with magnets, we've curved off this side here, and this will sit underneath the dust shoe base that we designed before. And here this is in JS Cut. And this is what this guy will look like, much thinner. This is our little strip of little strip of Luan. That's the thin piece all cleaned up. It's a pretty piece of Luan. It's going to sit like that. These are our supports for the vacuum hose. And these should hold the vac hose pretty tight. There's the hose seated in those holders. This certainly could have been done on the CNC, but I wanted a little bit more fine tune control at this point. So we've done a little cut in there with a Forstner bit, and these one inch Magnets fit really well in there. All glued up, nice tight fit. We've got the sides assembled. Everything's glued up and screwed down. Magnets are good, ready to go. Need to drill a hole through there for the router. We've got the mount 
attached to the CNC. Everything's nice and level. It's close enough for me. I left these holes a little bit bigger so this whole thing could be shifted side to side. That's looking nice and level. And checking on this axis, we're nice and level as well. That shows the bracket all set up. So the next stage is to put our skirt on this part. I'm going to use a vinyl runner for the skirting material on here. There are of course lots of options. I wanted something I could kind of see through and I like the thickness of this. So we're going to give this a try. We use double sided tape on this to hold it on the edge and then we'll go around with staples. I've done some test sizing here and I think this feels about right. One thing that's nice about this arrangement is several of these could be cut very easily and skirts of different length be made for different materials. I'm trying to go with something averaging right now and that seems about right. Using some double sided tape to hold this temporarily on here before we put the staples in. There's the dust shoe all attached and it's easy since these were set up to go up and down we can easily keep this uniform and just slice every two so let's get that on the CNC and see how it works. This will be the first test. This is just a piece of pine, which will give us a lot of nice dust. And I just drew up in Inkscape two shapes real fast. We've got a star and a circle, and these will go down a quarter of an inch. So this should make a whole lot of dust, especially with that eighth inch cutter. So let's get the skirt on and give this a try. Okay, let's see what we've got. First step is to turn on the vac. So, vacuum's on. Then we'll turn on our router. And then we'll go to cycle start. So, so far I'm not seeing any sawdust on this side. Normally by now it's blowing everywhere. Just looking around inside the booth and I'm not seeing anything floating around. Typically it's extremely full of dust in there. Finish the circle and I don't see any sawdust on there. I'm amazed there's nothing there. So we're moving on to the next shape, which is that star. just finished our shape. I turned the router off. The vacuum is still on. That's amazing. There is just nothing around the machine. So let's go inside and take a look. I think a little bit of the dust that's in the corner may have been from when I was building this thing because I'm not seeing anything on the actual bed of the CNC. Let's see what we've got. Typically speaking, when I open this up after a cut, I've got dust everywhere. And there is nothing here. Very, 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 very little. We've got virtually nothing on here. 
just a trace. And this is really dusty pine. So we've got a little bit of sappy pine in here. But as far as outside, that works extremely well. I'm surprised how well that works. Pretty easy project, fun to design. And I think this will work well. Thanks very much for taking a look. Thank you.